friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today it's Saturday, it's grocery haul day, but it is massive stock up grocery haul time. I went to Costco and we all know that that means it's a huge, huge haul. So if you're excited for a massive stock up haul, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you are going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend whether you're on WW or not, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Link Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So let's jump in to this huge, massive grocery haul. So here is this week's massive, massive grocery haul. I barely fit everything on my kitchen island, stacked it as tall as I can stack it. I did Walmart shopping as well as my monthly shopping at Costco. We have a lot to jump into, so let's get started on this week's haul. I went ahead and picked up some frozen chicken tenderloins instead of fresh this time. What I was finding is I was pulling out some of the fresh ones and it was too much for a single recipe. So I was having to thaw it and then refreeze it. So I thought that these frozen ones would just make a little bit more sense. Of course, you can't go to Costco for a stock up haul without paper towels. And of course, toilet paper. Their feta crumbles were on coupon for less than $5 for this huge container and I love putting feta on my salad. Also a huge thing of vanilla extract. This big container is only $15.99 at Costco, which is a fantastic price. And we go through a lot of vanilla extract. You know, I love the Boschia brand of skincare. I love their eye cream and this botanical science resurfacing treatment toner with apple cider vinegar was on sale for $6.97, which is an incredible price. This is a nice clean brand. And I love applying toner before my moisturizer just to get my skin a little damp and let that sink in and do its magic so of course I couldn't pass that up. These are my favorite almonds of all time and these were also on coupon. These are the blue diamond bold in wasabi and soy sauce. I think it was just a little over ten dollars. You guys know I love nuts so I'm going to have to pre-portion these out so that I don't go crazy but these are my all-time favorite so I had to pick those up. First we treat this week Oreo thins was what sounded really good when I did my Walmart order. I like these because you can still enjoy an Oreo for a decent amount of calories and points when you go with the thin and the mints are my all-time favorite. We were about out of eggs so I picked up an 18 pack of happy egg. These are my favorite eggs from Walmart. String cheese for Troy's lunch. He takes at least one to two string cheese every single day. Costco has hands down the best price. I needed hot dogs for a dinner recipe and these are all beef, which is the only type of hot dog I'll eat. These are the Nathan's bun length. And believe it or not, the bun length hot dogs had less calories and points than the traditional hot dogs. So I went ahead and picked those up. Restocked my cheese, it snapped. I really liked having these last month when I did my Costco haul. They're just a great little side for lunch for that little bit of crunch. Another pack of the La Banderita carb counter tortilla. I need tortillas for a dinner recipe. I have raved about this Sweet Baby Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce. I actually really, really like this barbecue sauce. It's not too sweet. The ingredients are okay, so I had to pick that up for a dinner recipe. Troy asked for light mayo for his sandwiches for work. And then my favorite mayo is the Primal Kitchen with avocado oil from Costco. It's now in a plastic jar, which is interesting. I'm not sure why they did that, but I really love this mayo. It's nice and clean and it uses avocado oil in place of soybean oil. I needed to restock my powdered sugar because we're completely out. Troy asked for breakfast burritos for his lunches this next week. I actually, I ordered the small one and they were out. So they substituted with the huge one for the same price, which is always a nice substitution. I actually had quite a few really beneficial to me substitutions in my order. Cottage cheese for Palmer. You guys know we've been putting this with his food to help with his little ears and his bones as he grows. Two packs of 93.7 organic grass fed beef. We need to restock the freezer. We only have a couple of pounds left. And then I also picked up one pound of 96% lean for a dinner recipe. I saw these dog treats at Costco and they had really good ingredients made in the USA, grain and gluten free. These are the Zoe Super Bars in beef. I think they were $13.99. So I picked those up for the dogs. A loaf of Texas toast 
thick sliced bread. This is for my breakfast meal prep. We're having tostadas for dinner one night, so I picked up this big pack of tostadas. I didn't realize how inexpensive these were and how low calorie in point, so tostadas may fall on my menu a little bit more often. Italian style breadcrumbs. This is for a dinner recipe. I have just the tiniest bit left in my pantry. And I am out of cornstarch, so I picked up a big container from Walmart. Canned pineapple slices for a dinner recipe. The big tub of I can't believe it's not butter light for Troy. This is the butter he prefers to use. Mild salsa. This is for a recipe. And then we like to just always have salsa on hand for eggs or if we decide to do a taco night. And the big container of fa a total zero percent. I need this for quite a few recipes this next week and I do like to just add some frozen fruit or sweeten this up. It's a great great source of protein. This was a substitution. I ordered the small bag of the light Fiesta blend shredded cheese and they substituted for the large bag. Also with the non light Fiesta cheese same thing. I ordered the small bag and ended up with the large bag which I won't complain because we go through a, a lot of cheese. The double pack of Listerine. This is my favorite favorite mouthwash and I end up having to pick it up every single time I go to Costco. This pasta sauce was on coupon, so I wanted to give it a try. This is the Sonoma Gourmet Roasted Garlic. It is organic. I always like to buy my pasta sauce organic because tomatoes are on the dirty dozen. This was less than $10, so I'm excited to try this. I love garlic, so I think this is going to be a super flavorful sauce. Now, this is something I haven't bought for a hot minute from Costco. I needed canned chicken for a recipe, and it's so much more affordable to buy this at Costco. This is also a quick and easy lunch. It's a great way to get in some extra protein. So I'm glad that I have this on hand again. This will probably become a staple once again. So here's a new oil. So Costco had the Chosen Foods avocado oil, but it's in a big gallon size jug now for $19.99. And I don't know how quickly I'll go through that. So I decided to try this Avo Mega Avocado MCT and Chia Oil. This was $11.99. So it has really clean ingredients just like the avocado oil, but it does have that bonus of MCT and Chia. I always end up purchasing my dishwasher detergent when I do my Costco run. We can't use the little packs because we're on septic. So this is my all time favorite dishwasher detergent. Our heartburn medicine. This is another thing I always pick up at Costco. Both Troy and I use this every day. Also a Costco trip is not complete without trash bags. So I saw that they have scented now. They're the same price as the regular one. And this is the fresh scent. So I thought that I would try these. We love the Costco trash bags, $16.99 and they last forever. Puff pastry sheets for a, a dinner recipe. And another Costco trip staple is clean so I went ahead and picked up the big pack. I also grabbed a watermelon at Costco for the week. We love watermelon. It's finally getting into season, so this will probably be something I buy every single week. And then as always, a case of Diet Coke for Troy. Not shown is also a case of Coors Light. Normally we take the Costco allergy medicine, but my allergies have been so bad that the pharmacist recommended this. It's the generic for Zyrtec, so I picked that up. The Laughing Cow Light Cheese Wedges were on coupon. I always pick these up when they're on coupon. It's less than $5 for four packages. And I use these all the time. You guys know I make my chicken wrap. I just love this cheese. It's so good. And it's only 35 calories per wedge. Not one, but two of Troy's favorite salad. I went ahead and just stocked up for him so that he would have that. The summer seasonal pack of kombucha, of course, from Walmart with watermelon, guava, and pineapple. I love these flavors. And I think this is definitely a seasonal thing at Walmart. I don't think that they're going to have it all the time. So I'm grabbing it as often as I can. Another thing I love are the coconut rolls from Costco. I saw these and of course I had to add them to my cart. I love these. They have nice clean ingredients and they're that perfect crispy sweet treat. Also tucked in the back here I have the variety pack of Ziploc bags. It has sandwich, snack, storage, and gallon. These were on coupon and we're about out so I picked those up. I decided to get some gala apples because they were organic and this entire bag was only $3.99 and I've been on this peanut butter apple kick so I had to grab those. A case of the organic chicken stock. This is another thing I always have on hand and we are completely out of chicken stock. This is $10 at Costco for six cartons of organic chicken broth. And for produce, I picked up one red onion for a recipe. Lots of avocados. I actually forgot that I had added a couple of avocados to my cart at Walmart. And then I picked up the big bag at Costco as well. That's okay. We'll go through these. What I do is leave them out on the counter to ripen. And then once they're ripe, I throw them in the fridge and that really prolongs the life of them. And also when you cut them and eat them, make sure that you eat the half of the avocado without the pit. Save the half with the pit because the pit in there will help it last longer as well. So a couple little avocado protein 
tips for you. Some fresh chives for a recipe, and I just love fresh herbs in general. And last but not least, a big bag of organic lemons for my water. So that is my huge, huge, huge stock of haul from Costco and Walmart. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinners and exciting what you guys will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on the menu for the week. This is 6, 5 through 6, 11. So tonight, Saturday, we go out for dinner. That is always something we do every Saturday. Sunday, I'm making chili coney dogs. So you guys will see that in Wednesdays. What I eat in a day, Tuesday, Monday is going to be barbecue chicken tostadas. Tuesday's a leftover night. I've been going to Jazzercise again on Tuesday night since Troy returned back to work. Wednesday is mac and cheese bites. Thursday is chicken flottas, and then I'm going to make some homemade cinnamon rolls in the air fryer. And then Friday is a leftover night. We always try to eat up all of our leftovers on Friday. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I am prepping French toast casserole. This is a different recipe than I've done in the past. I am so excited for this. Lunch is going to be a deviled egg pasta salad. So this is going to be a summery, light, fresh lunch. And then for desserts this week, I'm actually going to prep pineapple cake. So again, a really summery, fresh dessert. So stay tuned for all three of these recipes on Monday in my meal prep. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing this massive haul, got some great food ideas, learned about some of the great things on coupon currently at Costco. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up. Before you go, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. I do grocery hauls every single Saturday. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching where I do offer personalized macros and one-on-one -on -one coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. So check it out before you go. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.